I first started being a machinist in college. They told us we had to buy this book. They said, this is a machinist's handbook. We went down to the bookstore. We bought our machinist's handbook. I had one for two to maybe three years, been out doing a little bit of machinery. Someone talked about where was my Bible, the machinist's Bible. And I said, I don't say Bible, it says handbook. And that was the first time I actually read it where it says machinery's handbook, not machinist's handbook. <laughs> There's another one, too, that is a tool and die maker's handbook. I think it's red. I've got one somewhere. But they're both the same size. They both fit in a machinist toolbox. And they come from way back in the days. American machinists used to have people write in, give them little, just like these little shorts, uh, little tips and information. <clears throat> and when it got later, they started cutting things out of what was in there. And I don't, I don't even have them in here. I boxed them up. <sighs> This was originally made from a condensation of articles in American Machinist. Um, at one time, I got excessive trying to collect the oldest ones I could get to make sure that I had all the original information. And I pretty much had a whole set of however many pamphlets it was that they were originally made from. Because to keep it fitting in the toolbox, they made the book the same size. But what I finally found out, and we keep all kinds of different old engineering, along with some yucky old new engineering books in here too now and then. But anyway, they also made an encyclopedia set. And that was the real discovery, Machinery's Encyclopedia. Uh, you'll have a hard time finding these, but if you can find them, this is the Machinery's Handbook on Steroids Plus. Uh, it was written in 1921, I think was the latest version of it. They only printed 2,000 copies of that one, I think 1,000 copies of the first one. So if you're really dedicated to finding out information, these are worth having.